Welcome back to Battle Station Harbinger. Or actually, I should say Battle Void Harbinger. My name is Dylock. And the reason I'm. Uh, I said like Battle Void Harbinger is because they recently got hit by a trademark thing. And they actually had to change their name. So that kind of sucked. But they managed to work it out. The guys that actually had the trademarked name uh, were really cool about it and stuff like that. So it's all nice and dandy. Uh, the game basically stayed the same, however. So there's nothing wrong about that. So I feel compelled to say that they did update it with some uh, new stuff. They actually let you play in the alien ships now. They added way more reinforcements. Like you can see over here. There's actually uh, very large cruisers. Damn, they look, they look really awesome. <laughs> they also added a playable ship called the BSE Trademark. <laughs> which is kind of cool. Uh, it's not in the uh, reinforcements though, as far as I can see. But the alien ships are actually quite cool. Uh, as far as getting them is, because you actually have to destroy stuff to get them. Since last time we actually uh, beat the first map. And if you beat the first map then you can go and do whatever you like on that map or you can just skip to the next one but we are gonna move to the enemy right here so let's do that let's jump at least let's see how awesome that plasma dual plasma cannon is And there goes the nuke and the normal plasma. He is having a hard time against those fighters. And that's basically it. Man, that was kind of OP. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I keep forgetting it's engineering we actually have to look up a distress beacon well that's not really what we want so I also wanted to talk a little bit about something because I was uh, really uh, how should I put this I was really sitting on this for a while now and I think it's really important for you viewers as well because uh, it's something that has to do with you the viewer because I've seen a lot of big channels influence other people oh Jesus influence other what the hell they just jumped away huh. But I've seen a lot of big channels influence other people and there are some of you that don't really think before saying something or uh, basically you just do what the person tells you to or thinks he tells you to because that's actually a problem as well. People think that someone wants uh, wants them to like bombard a channel with negativity and hate and stuff like that. People just don't seem to think for themselves. I mean, let's say you got a channel and people think you're cringe worthy. 
how would you feel if you got bombarded by all the hate and stuff that you actually threw that other person's way? I think you'd feel damn... Damn sad. Well, not sad, but damn awful, at least, about it. We are gonna jump the same way as him and gonna kill him. Right here. Let's kill him. There we go. But people don't think about that. It's it's stupid. I'm not saying everyone does this, but there's a lot of people that don't actually think before saying something on YouTube. In the uh, YouTube comments or be it a YouTube video. Because there are people that make videos as well that don't really think about what their video is about. And that's, that's kind of stupid as well. <laughs> Oh, fuck me, there's actually another ship here. But... Yeah, there's, there's a lot of cringeworthy stuff on YouTube, sure. But it doesn't mean that you actually have to hate on those people. I mean, it's, it's fine that you show them that it's cringeworthy and stuff like that, but... There's like a mob mentality going around where people feel obligated to basically, well, let's see, how do I put this? They feel like obligated to ruin that person's life and that's stupid. Why would you do that? I mean, he's not ruining your life. So why would you ruin his life? I mean, I'm all about living that live. But basically what I'm trying to say here is that you have to think for yourself. And uh, people just seem to be more like, let's go mob mentality than anything else. I don't know if I'm getting my point across here, but all I'm trying to say is that people need to learn to think for themselves before they act on something another YouTuber says. Even if that guy has millions and millions of subscribers here, it doesn't matter. He's still human. He's still uh, probably only giving his opinion on something. Uh, let's repair this. There we go. Oh, what the hell? This all turned red instantly. Let's travel there. But, yeah, that's all I'm trying to say. Hostiles? Oh, okay. I'm, that's all I'm trying to say that you need to think for yourself before you act on something a big YouTuber tells you. I mean, there's literally, there's literally people going out of their way to uh, basically take anything a big YouTuber says for granted. Let's throw that away and throw that away. But they're basically take, taking anything for granted that big YouTuber says. And you don't have to look far for that. Which is kind of sad really. Because it's better to have your own opinion. And be wrong or be different with it. Than... You just assume someone else's opinion, if you get what I mean. Anyways, I hope I got my point across, and this is all the time I have for today, sadly. Uh, this is probably gonna be uh, the last video for this week. 
since I will be doing some moving for a friend of mine tomorrow. And I don't know if I'll be home on Friday. If I am, I might make another video. So just stay tuned for that. And if I'm not, then I'll probably let you guys know on Twitter. Uh, I regularly post stuff on there. Uh, so as to keep you people up to date. So if you want to know if there's going to be a video, just stay tuned on uh, on twitter there and if you haven't already then it would be really awesome if you could share this with anyone really and if you aren't already subscribed then hit that subscribe button with all your might and i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>